Hi everyone, welcome back to our simple invoice project. In this video, we're going to learn how to show and print invoice. So the starting point of our video is the result of our previous video. If you haven't seen that, I will link that in the description down below. So the first thing I want to do is to go in our VS code on invoices in index.view and add a new function const the name of our function on show add param id router dot push slash invoice slash show price param id We'll go in a template and add this function that we have created in a unit. You click on show item dot id. All right. We'll go now in our browser and click to a specific invoice and verify if you to the directors to a specific invoice details. All right, to load directors, but to show us that the page not found, let's go back in our VS code and create and create the show page. All right. We go in invoices and create the new page called show.view. All right. Let add templates. and add a div container. Okay, in our GitHub repository. And the copy this show invoice HTML. And add it in our show dot view. All right. Now let's go in our router in index.js and import invoice show from components invoices show.view. All right. Add in const roots path slash invoice slash show slash param id component invoice show all right add props true let's go back in our browser and verify that our details of invoice template is add where let click to this invoice all right, it will direct us to our show page. Let's go back now in our VS code, in our show.view. Remove this one. Okay. All right, you can see where in our browser. Now we are going to add the details of this invoice from database. We go back in our VS code in show.view and add script setup import on mounted ref from view. Red form ref id const props define props id 
id type string default all right let's go now and create a function const the name of our function get invoice a sync red response await axios dot get add back type slash api slash show invoice slash variable props dot id Let's go now in our roots on api.php and add a new root. Red copy this root and paste it. All right. Let's now change here to show and post to get. All right. Let's add a param id. Change here to show. All right, now we are going to create a function called show invoice. Let's go now in HTTP on controller, in invoice controller, and add a new function called show invoice. All right, public function show invoice and add param ID. variable invoice invoice with customer find by id all right we will turn response json invoice variable invoice all right finish to create our function we'll go now in our show dot view and add a console rog form response dot data dot invoice all right let's mount this function on mounted async get invoice all right our function is mounted let's go in our VS code and verify if our simple invoice is called in our console. All right, now you can see our invoice in our console. Let close it and go back to our VS code and show dot view on our get invoice function, add form dot vary response dot data dot invoice. All right, write in comment this console rug. All right, right now go ahead in our template and change here form dot id form dot created at form dot customer dot 
first name vif form dot customer is exists all right now we are going to add our form dot number form date form due date form dot reference all right now we are going to finish by add our list of items before to add our list of items let's verify on our browser if it work oh there is a mistake let to verify where this mistake come from or, 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 or i made a mistake here let's change here to form dot date all right let's reload this page and verify now if the error was removed all right now you can see the details of our invoice right now we are going to add the list of item of this invoice we go in our invoice controller and add invoice items all right let's create in models in invoice.php a function called invoice items fabric function invoice items which will return this has many invoice items class all right let's now verify in our browser if the invoice items is appear Let's zoom and show if our invoice items is add. All right, you can see our invoice items. We go back in our invoice controller and add dot product. All right. We go in models in invoice items and add function public function products return these belongs to products class this function all right right now go in our browser and verify now if our invoice items is appear all right and product also is appear okay let's close this console go back to our show.view component and add the list of our invoice items v for item e in form dot invoice items key item dot id e price one
item.product.description item.unitPrice item.quantity item dot unit price multiply by item dot quantity all right let's add subtotal form dot subtotal form dot discount form those terms and conditions form dot total all right now I'm finish let's remove this one if I just add this HTML tag to make more presentable all right let's now add a function which will help us to print invoice we're going our VS code and add function const print windows dot print router dot push slash catch All right, let's add this function to our print buttons. A click print. All right, now we can see we can print invoice. All right, so that is all about to show and print a specific invoice. In upcoming video, we will continue to run how to edit and delete a specific invoice. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.